Just the fourth boundary of the innings, the third four plus Richard Hadley six. Bruce Blair departs for three. The simplest of all catches, a little chip away, and once again, Reed amongst the wickets. Well, that's the final nail in New Zealand's coffin, surely. And the Yerg McSweeney streak, Gillespie and you and Chatfield to come, and Bruce Blair, who had looked so good during his previous knocks during this World Series Cup, holding out in rather meek fashion with a very simple catch in there to Jeff Marsh at mid on. And Bruce Blair out for three. Bruce Reed has another wicket, and New Zealand hopelessly placed now in the 40th over. A good catch. What a pity we've finished with classic catches decisions for the year. Tony, that one might have sneaked in. There's no doubt it would have uh, got well up the list as well. Let's have another look at this magnificent border catch. Diving away as he does so often in this position at mid wicket. That ball was hit very firmly and very low. And have a look at that. Whack into those two hands of his. Those two very safe hands. I think Alan Border might have enjoyed that, judging by the look on his face. Irvin McSweeney certainly didn't. He's out for one. Eight for 137. Stuart Gillespie to take strike to Bruce Reed. Coming. He's on a hat trick. If Gillespie came out at a half trot, he's going to go back just as quickly. Bruce Reed has bowled pretty well this evening. Moved the ball away from the right handers. He's been cutting it back to Hadley, and that one is just banged against the stump. And it's moved away off the seam and hit that off stump straight back. What a beautiful ball that was. And if you come in at number 10, it's pretty difficult to get an edge on those. And uh, off he goes with company. Out for a duck. So Stuart Gillespie on his way, bowled by Reed, 9 for 137. They've cleaned up New Zealand here this evening with a wonderful performance with the ball. And on the scoreboard, the Australians just noticing there, congratulations to Bruce Reed on a hat trick. A couple of them just looking back there and congratulating him. I'm sure that none of them fully realised that he took it, certainly snuck under our guard. And he looks up at the scoreboard there, and as Bill Laurie said, what an about turn by the Australians. A 206 run defeat over in Adelaide, and certainly a comprehensive victory here in Sydney tonight. Oh, what an onslaught that was by the Australians. They really came back from that humiliating defeat at the hands of the New Zealanders down in Adelaide on Monday. They batted well today. They bowled magnificently and the fielding was absolutely superb other than for the drop catch by David Boone towards the end. A fine performance and the scorecard for New Zealand reflects that. 140 they were bowled out for in 42.4 overs. For the top score of Richard Hadley, 30 not out in 37 balls faced and just five double-figure scores, 140, and that gave Australia a win by 99 runs. The effect of the bowling is shown in those figures. McDermott bowled well again tonight, two for 28 in seven overs. Davis has bowled well throughout this competition, three for 25 in 9.4. Reed a hat-trick, three for 29. Matthews, one for 27. An extremely good effort, uh, considering that uh, he has this arm injury, the shoulder injury. And Dave Gilbert won for 24. Everyone played their part. A fine performance from Alan Border's side. And here is Border now with the opposition skipper, Jeremy Coney, and the player of the match with Tony Gregg down in the presentation area. Thank you, Richie. Well, once again, the Australian Board have given me all this money, $5,000.